Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my awesome Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. And they are Etta, Shamika Theory, Lucille Theory, Ryan McMurray, Allison Jackis, Destiny Riles, Joyce Avon, Cal Poppy, and John Rush. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Okay, you guys, I apologize. I know I probably sound really weird, but I'm getting over a cold. It's been five days now, so I know I'm not contagious anymore but my head you know I hear my voice in my head it's so crazy I don't know if that makes sense but you know how you sound different when you have a cold like everything's stopped up so I am gonna wear a mask because I'm flying tomorrow and it has been I checked it's been enough days that I should be okay to protect everybody so I am gonna start off going in this but we're also going to go through this which are the accessories for traveling because this is going to be my travel notebook for all of my travels this year because I'm going to multiple places and these as well so this is everything right here that I'm going to take with me whenever I go because I am going to first California and then I'm going to go later on to Oklahoma and then at some point Colorado and then my son and I are going to Milan Paris first and then Milan in July and maybe Virginia I know that's a lot of trips so We'll see what actually happens, but I'll tell you about those as we go. So this traveler's notebook was actually gifted to me several years ago from my wonderful friend and fellow YouTuber, John Rush. He is also one of my Patreon members. I just called off his name and showed you guys. Yeah, so uh, I can't remember the name of the company that this came from. If you know, say it in the comments below because I would really like to give credit to it. It is vegan. It's very beautiful. I'm vegan if you're unaware, and it's just made super, super well. And so the way I have set it up, so here in this pocket is just, um, I don't remember, something I don't want to... <laughs> Oh, I remember. It's where I just kind of track my personal spending because I'm thinking about keeping this maybe in my purse all the time, but I'm not sure because my passport is in here and I don't know if I want to do that, but I have everything that I would need anytime I'm not home in here. So folded up in here is just where I kind of track my spending that is scheduled, that is budgeted for every month. And so I just tuck that in here. So this, oh, the company name is right here, Coco Daisy. Coco Daisy is who this is from. And then in the inside, the first insert is actually a passport holder with RFID in it, you know, to protect from people using those devices to scan and get access to your credit cards and all of that. And I got it several years ago when we were supposed to go to Japan in 2020. And of course, COVID happened. So uh, we didn't get to go. It was going to be my mom, my son, and my niece. And I, we were all uh, going. So I still have it. And so what I have first behind here are all my IDs that I would want to have with me when I travel. And then anything that I don't bring, I lock up. Um, I have a place to secure that. And then any bank cards that I feel like I should have while I'm traveling and I just covered those up with a little sticky note and then we have my passport and I also have tucked in here when we went to Iceland my name on my my what do you call my COVID card and my actual legal name the full name is not on both it's on my my um ID, but it's not all on my VA stuff because they update whenever it expires, even though your name might have changed because, you know, my husband and I got married 11 years ago and yeah, all of that. So I just in case I brought like a cop copy of my birth certificate as well to verify that I was the same person. And I also got a letter from my doctor at the VA that said which um, shots I had and what my name was was legally and so yeah so i just decided to keep that in here i doubt i will need it but it just brings back memories of when my son and i went to iceland and i'll sh i'll link that uh, playlist for you guys in the description we went it was one of the first countries that allowed people 
to go from the U.S. during COVID, whenever COVID was kind of, you know, lifting when things were getting better. And so we had to do a lot of COVID testing, leaving, getting there and leaving to come back. And then I just have right here some little tabs. These came from, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't think of anything right now. Oh, this, this is the whole packet. I've shared these before. Oh, wow, I can't. You guys might remember saying this description below. It's the little, the store that has a bunch of um, little cute Daiso, Daiso, that's the store. So I have tons of these, so I use them for tabs. And so I'm just going to move that to the side for a second. And then this is the first insert. And these inserts came from the Dollar Tree Traveler's Notebooks, which I love. And this first, well, this first one is, the other one I made. But this is a, a grid insert. And what I did is I covered it with some craft paper that I have from Michaels. I have a, a pad that's all about travel. And then I just took a highlighter and wrote 2020 travel, travel Journal, used my favorite pen, which is right here, the Precision V5 from Pilot. Oh, I love this. And 0 .5, 0 0.05 rather. And then um, one book of two because I have another book that we'll look at in a moment. And so... And then this paper that I glued in the inside is also from that same paper pad. And then I just did a future log. So I basically bullet journaled inside for, um, is, is bullet journaling is what I'm doing, inside of this insert. And so I did it. I put all of the holidays in here. I put all of my appointments that I already have. I put... I am a catechumen. I'm studying to be baptized in the Orthodox Christian Church. I've been a Christian all my life, but I'm studying to be baptized in that. And so the they use a Julian calendar. So some dates are different for like Christmas and for Easter um, and the, the holy days, basically the great they call it Great Thursday, Great Friday, Great Saturday, all of that. So I did put some of those in here. I put both the traditional calendar dates and the orthodox one but not for everything because there's no way it would all fit in here but the ones that I felt I really needed to have in my mind if I'm out of town so and then down here at the bottom I just put Monday a uh, place for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday of everything that's recurring so that I didn't need to actually write it down in these spaces as well so I could just look at this highlight so if I'm out of town and I need to schedule something I know okay these times are blocked off on these days of the week yeah, so I just drew those in, and I did it for the whole year, and it did take a while, but it's all set up for the year, and there's a couple of people that I need to look at old calendars that I know that their birthdays are in this month, but I don't remember the exact date, so I need to get those, and so yeah, so that's the future log, and then what I've done for the first trip, because again, I leave tomorrow, is I set up the expenses, and then here after the expenses then I will just journal about the days each day I didn't want to put like the 13th on here and then flip the next page and write the 14th because I might only write a little bit on one day and I don't want to have the pressure to fill a whole page if I don't have you know a whole page worth to say so I wrote down my flight my hotel I didn't check off the hotel because I booked it but I don't pay till I get there and my son um, was gracious enough to split the hotel with me because he has roommates who would welcome me to stay because I'm going to visit him he's working on his doctorate in linguistics yes at UC Davis and but they have two cats and I have a cat allergy and it's not like the extreme end like my husband's was but I do have it and I do react sometimes it all depends on the cat and it depends on how much cat dander is around so he graciously um, decided to split that with me so I deducted that amount and then um, the airport tra transportation from the airport in Sacramento because I'm flying into Sacramento to go to Davis and then back and then I'll get a lift to the airport to leave because I'm leaving at 630. The flight is at 630 in the morning. Hopefully a family member will be able to pick me up when I come back. But just in case, I'll have a place for that. And then a place for food for each day and just miscellaneous. And then I put a colon so I can say what those things were, you know, that um, that. I did for that, that I spent for that day yeah and then I have room to add more and then I can do a total at the end and then I know how much I spent on that particular trip 
and then I'll just put a tab for the next trip, which should be going to Oklahoma in May because one of our granddaughters is graduating from high school, which I'm really happy, excited for her, and I'll get to visit a bunch of friends and family while I'm down there as well. And then that's the inside of the back, and then that's the back of that insert, and then that's the other side of my birth certificate, and then that's the back of the passport. And then inside, tucked inside here, I have my COVID um, record, shot record, and then the letter from my doctor saying that I'm the same person, even though there's two different names, two different last names. And then this one I made out of mixed media paper, and I didn't staple it because it's too thick, but I did take some of the pages out because I'm going to want to glue and paste and all that, and then it would be even thicker. So we'll see if I need to add more, or maybe I'll just add some watercolor paper later, or no, that's thick too. Maybe some um, paper from like my, y'all, I can't think of nothing now. Oh my goodness. The paper that's really, really thin, but works really really well like Kobanichi paper um that kind of paper yeah there's another planner I'm trying to think of but it is escaping my mind <laughs> so I so it's just stuck in here inside of the elastic but the the outside page I covered with this paper from that same paper pad and then I just had a longer page I just had a longer piece for the right side and then just folded it over and this is just command strip I just cut a little piece of it off and then I just gently raise it up. Just don't push it too hard. I mean, if it's too hard, it's still fine. I, it comes off easily. I made sure I secured it very, very well onto the back of here so it will stay. And then this is where I will doodle and do art while I'm gone. So I put Sacramento on there first. And, you know, mixed media stuff. Like maybe I'll, I'll paste in a receipt or, you know, a, a business card or some piece of art, little piece of art I find or whatever. And so that is for that. And then that is it for the actual traveler's notebook. And then I'll show you the accessories that I'm bringing with me. Because, you know, I got to be good about not bringing too much stuff. Because when I'm in Europe, I want to just everywhere. I just want to have my personal item in my carry-on bag and let that be enough. So I'm going to have this to hold the, the traveler's notebook open. And then this pen case I shared in a short. I got it from the 99 cent only store. I got three different ones. They're all so adorable. And so I have in here enough of um, Crayola Super Tips in varying colors that I feel like I have a good range for coloring whatever art I might draw. And then I have an extra pen because y'all know I don't like to sketch in pencil unless it's something that is important for me to have like a face that looks a certain way. Otherwise, I just let the pen decide who, who the person's gonna be when I'm done with it. So I have an extra pen in there. So there's no need to have an eraser because I don't have a pencil. And then I also have a glue stick. And so on this trip, I only need one, but for probably when I go to Europe, because I'm going to be gone 14 days, I'll probably bring, bring two or three, or maybe just bring one or two and buy another one if I need to. So we'll see how that goes. But then this is everything, you guys. This is everything I'm going to have with me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells that YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. And you guys can also find me on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic. On Facebook, I have two groups, Organized Planner Chic Crew and Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. And then you guys, please take care of your mind, body, and spirit. Let me say that again, your spirit, soul, and body, because when one area suffers, they all suffer. Please continue to pray for me, and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.